Hey guys, today we're going to delve into the world of optical character recognition, or OCR, in Windows 11 using INOCR. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be using Visual Studio 2022 and, of course, INOCR, which I've already installed via NuGet Package Manager. And if you haven't done that yet, just go ahead and do so. Okay, let's move straight to our program CS file and get started. All right, here we are in our program CS file. So let's just go over the code. So first, we instantiate Iron Tesseract by creating an object, OCR. After that, we're going to use an instance of OCR input, which is input. And the using statement here helps to automatically dispose of the input object once we're done with it. Next, we're adding an image to input using the add image method. And this image is the one that we're going to perform OCR on. And just as a side note, you can actually add any number of images here. Finally, we use the read method of the OCR object to perform the OCR operation. And we store the result in the result object. And the result text contains the extracted text from the image. We're writing this extracted text to the console with console.writeline. Here's the image that we're using for our OCR operation, and it's located in our E drive, and it's a PNG file. So now let's run the project and see our OCR in action. Here's the output generated by the Iron OCR, and as you can see, we have our image and our output side by side for comparison. The output is almost perfectly accurate, which just goes to show how powerful Iron OCR really is. But not only is it powerful, it's also versatile. INOCR fully supports both Windows 11 and 10, so no matter what version you're using, you can take advantage of this awesome tool. We hope you found this tutorial helpful, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more useful tutorials from Iron Software. And guys, before you go, you can try Iron Software's 30-day trial license and experience the power of our software firsthand. So just click the link down below in the description and try it for yourself. See you next time.